Tyler, uh, you know, we, we've talked to a couple of the offensive linemen so far and just getting a drift for, for what it's like to, to work with those guys, how each guy brings their own their own thing to the table. Uh, for you, uh, what's it like working with all those guys and personalities? What's it like in that room? We got we got some jokers. We got some we got some guys who are a little quieter. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, everybody kind of has their own, uh, you know, individual traits and stuff. But, you know, we're all best friends. So it's uh, it's pretty fun. Just like the meetings, you know, practices, working out, hanging out together. It's all we're all doing it together. So we're all having a having a great time. So it's um, it's interesting now that we're all kind of, you know, upperclassmen and really have been here for a while and um, kind of like looking up to the older guys a couple of years ago, seeing how they did stuff. And now we get to do that. So um Pretty interesting, pretty cool. We'll go to AJ. Hey Tyler, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. You know, with, with camp, you know, going on to second or third week now, how are you keeping yourself fresh and keeping yourself uh, energized as the days kind of, you know, one day after another kind of drags on? What are you doing to kind of keep yourself motivated and going? Well, um, just, uh, you know, hopefully whoever we play game one is really what's keeping, I'd say all of us motivated, but just the, um, you know, we're still playing as of now, and we're practicing like we're playing. So um, that's really keeping us all going. But, um, you know, the coaches are doing a great job taking care of us. They know we got some time to go before uh, we play whoever it is. So they're doing a great job of making sure we're fresh, uh, giving us recovery days, you know, different workout strategies that will keep us fresh, uh, modifying practices and stuff. So I'd say um, they're doing a great job. I feel great. We all feel great. So um, it's been pretty, pretty great so far. We'll go back to Dan. Uh, just general football question. Um, different positions along the line, different responsibilities on each play. Um, why we through pre-snap through a play? Like, what, uh, does it depend on the scheme? Does it depend on? Does it depend on the on the block? Like, what are you doing before a snap, uh, during a snap, uh, after a snap, all that on the, in a given play? So uh, for practice wise, it's a little more slowed down in the game, so you kind of have some time to, uh, you know read the defense, see what's going on. So we'll start with the, you know, the QB will make his calls. We'll make our line calls. And then um, on the on the snap, you know, you're really just reading that first step, see where the defense is going. If they're doing any blitzes, anything like that, you'll, uh, you know, read it, obviously. And then um, after the snap, you'll kind of get a, get a second to, like, talk about it. Hey, if you did something wrong, coach will grab you, tell you what you did wrong, fix it. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty nice that in practice, you know, we kind of get uh, time to go back over the plays and go uh, – really address the problems and the issues that we're having so we can get it fixed for the next day. So. We'll go next to Julian. Um, basic one. Uh, I was just asking a bunch of guys with uh, how would they describe Also, how you doing? Everything going oh, okay. on? Okay. How are you? Yeah. I, should, my, I should start there. My fault. I apologize. Um, describe the bubble for me. In the BC bubble, and what are you guys doing? How do you keep your keep your mind busy? Are you playing games? Are you an Xbox dude? Your board games dude? Are you like I got a class dude? Right. So uh, I finished my class uh, last weekend, which uh, wasn't too too bad. So um, finished that up, but now it's pretty much just a lot of Xbox whenever you get time off, um, hanging out, eating meals together, um, hanging out in the locker room when we can. Uh, we like to uh, we like to play a bunch of Xbox though for sure. So what game? Um, we've been playing a lot of Call of Duty recently. So a lot Destiny. of Warzone. Um, what else we play? Some Rocket League every now and then. So yeah. Was there a point? Did you did you think it'd be tougher than it actually ended up being? Kind of being ice. So when we first came in in the summer, we had the uh, couple the week long quarantine, which we all thought was gonna be awful, and then it went by and super fast and then really it's gone pretty well um i really had no complaints i don't think a lot of the guys are really too you know bummed out or whatever but uh, I, it was definitely hard at the beginning just uh not really being able to go anywhere doing like sticking to a strict schedule but uh as we've kind of moved forward it's gotten gotten a lot easier so it, it's still you guys for the most part only on campus right what? is that strange if you like even step outside it's like who where is it's a ghost. Yeah, it's pre it's pretty interesting because you'll see like like the all you really see is people you know like walking their dogs around campus or like people like you'll see two people eating at lunch one day. But um, it's definitely interesting. You know, you're kind of really not seeing anybody. So um, definitely probably the emptiest I've ever seen campus. So. 
We'll go next to AJ. Hello again. Uh, earlier this week, uh, Coach Signetti and uh, Coach Athley both talked about the, the, they, they were being impressed by the play of the quarterbacks in the quarterback room. You know, as the guy in front of them, what have you seen out of the quarterback so far this year and the play that they've put on in terms of, uh, you know, the work at practice and things like that? Um, I've definitely noticed the leadership of every single guy in that room step up. They're much more, um, much more direct, much more clear, concise. Uh, they know what they're doing, which helps. So, uh, you know, they, they get us to where we need to go. And um, I'd just say the biggest thing is their leadership. They really stepped up as a group, as like a commanding group on this team. So uh, definitely the leadership out of all of them. We've got time for one or two more if anyone has them. All right, I think that's it, Tyler. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.